Welcome to Fire Virgo Tarot. I am a tarot reader and intuitive. Shout out to all my lovely Fire Virgos. So Virgo, we did pull some cards for you from your pre-shuffle. And my God, I feel like options galore. Okay, because Seven of Cups talks about having options, needing to make a decision. And I wasn't even going to read this, Virgo. I'm ready to get into the pre-shuffle. Okay, where we have the Six of Wands, which talks about victory. And people just kind of being in awe of you, looking at you. You are in a leadership position, Virgo. I feel like you're very attractive at this time. We got that in one of your recent readings. All right, but the lovers also represents choice. Choices, Gemini energy here. Someone is 37, perhaps born in a 65 or, or a 56 Virg, or dealing with the Taurus does not have to be. Now, with the Hierophant energy here as well, Virgo, I feel this overall official energy where you could be ascending to a higher commitment with someone, but Virg, in order to do that, you're going to have to leave somebody out in the cold. Okay, and I feel like you're gaining a perspective on the situation or you're finally kind of really feeling confident enough to make a decision about someone. All right, maybe not now, but in the near future. Some of you guys might just be playing right now. Yes, Virgo, as I say playing right now, <laughs> I split the deck and we have higher fit in the reverse. So somebody could be um, leaving a connection, Virgo, but I'm also getting that someone is in the beginning stages of ascending to a higher commitment with someone. Okay, so I'm going to get your energy and we're also going to get the person most on your mind. So what is this, Virgo? Because you have some good news coming. All right. Wow. As I say, good news, Virgo. <laughs> Five of Swords. Okay, we'll get into that in a minute. Five of Swords, the Hermit. There you are in your energy. Love it. Knight of Wands, Justice, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Queen of Swords. Okay. Bottom deck, Three of Wands. Virg, I feel like you are ready, okay? Your ships are coming in. You see them in the in the horizon, okay? And there's this part of you that's just very excited. You can feel this. Now, the interesting thing is with the Five of Swords energy is you might have someone, okay, because now we have 555, five, five, and that also talks about major change here, all right? Um, but Virg, you might feel this energy where it's like, my God, I got to get rid of someone or I have to... I have to move away from this past energy because I feel like, Virgo, you feel so inclined and drawn towards someone new. And it could be a Sagittarius energy or someone that you really think about or, or kind of catch yourself smiling about randomly sometimes. Okay, really? Like, you really like this person, Virgo. And I feel like part of you to see this had to walk away from something in the past or you're just now doing that. Remember, we saw that high fit in the reverse. Okay, but with the justice card here, I feel like this is a time, Virgo, Libra and energy for you to get your car in justice. Okay, it's it's time for the Virgo. It's your time. All right, someone's dealing with somebody born in May, possibly May 11th. I'm also getting um, November 19th. Now, Virgo, with this Knight of Wands energy, okay, I usually don't see this for you, but we can, okay, we can take on a Knight of Wands as well. The Virgo is very multifaceted, let's be clear. For some of you guys, we're really enjoying the singlehood, we're really enjoying not being in a partnership, because sometimes we're used to taking someone seriously and, and being in some bullshit for some of us, okay, and this might be the first time, Virgo, where you're really appreciating options where you're really appreciating having these kind of connections where you feel this passion where you feel this romance but yet there's no one that you're quite committed to but Virg in a minute whoever like when we start clarifying whoever this is I feel like they're going to put you in an energy where you're cutting somebody off and you're doing it with no mercy Okay, so I feel like this is somebody, again, you really like. They haven't um, showed themselves yet, which is interesting. So I feel like, Virgo, this was a connection that kind of built silently. All right, so let me know if this is making sense. All right, but with this Wheel of Fortune here, you and your person, I feel like would both say you felt like it was divinely guided. Okay, because another thing with the lovers, that's almost like a twin flame energy, just as much as it is choices. But these two are equally yoked. Okay, and there is a very um, a deep connection between these two. And you don't have to be in the same room. You don't have to be in the damn same state, but you can feel this person. You understand their energy. And I feel like it's something that you guys both really like appreciate. So let's get into this, Virgo. This is very interesting. Why are you, um, who the hell is this you trying to break free from? Or what do you have? Oh, Lord, Virg. Ten of swords. Somebody, you're really... <laughs> Virg, you're really trying to break free from somebody. 
All right. And you're just looking, you're just looking at him. All right. Or, or thinking, or this is metaphoric where it's just like, damn, that person's going to really be hurt when I surprise their ass and I dip up out of here. All right. Cause somebody just doesn't have the capacity to deal with the nine of pentacles. No. All right. The Virgo is beautiful. Do we have, we say this every day. All right. We're beautiful. We're thriving. What you touch is turning to gold. Virgo, let's be very clear. Six of wands was the first card I pulled for you in your pre-shuffle. Okay, the Six of Wands is a leader. This is somebody who can do it all alone. Everybody's vying for your attention. Okay, at least the people that you want, and that's all that matters. All right, because again, this is just Virgo's world, and everybody else is just living in it. You're over here playing with your bird, okay, sitting in your garden, making things even better, Virgo. I feel like something about your touch, something about your input, okay? And I feel like this person really values it, whoever this... um. Maybe this newer person is that you keep thinking about. Now, Virgo, part of you, the newer person is you, okay? Because you're clarifying yourself, which I love. And we have 9-9 nine, nine here. But you're on the precipice of like allowing yourself to be loved or seen by someone else as well, Virgo. Okay, but to be this nine of pentacles, it just makes so much sense why so many people are vying for your attention because we do go from the 10 to the nine. All right, so you completed something and now it's like you're on your own. All right, but it's only a matter of time, Virg, because I feel this passion is building up or this kind of a uh, connection is just kind of continues to build. Whether you guys actively work on it or not, Virg, it's just here. And I feel like it's fun. It's celebratory. You could have even met this person during a strange time, maybe in passing. Maybe they're a friend of a friend. All right. I don't feel like it's a work connection. I mean, it could be. But, Virg, you know this person through some sort of group. Okay. Um, yeah. What is this, Spirit? Let me get one more here. Okay. Let me get one more. Something about togetherness. Okay, King of Cups. This person is very mature. They're emotionally available. Virg, you could have, uh, remember your yesterday's read, somebody wasn't emotionally available. It took them a while to get to that King of Cups energy, but this person is coming with it. All right, so maybe that's why you're, you're able to kind of just drop this zero that you're trying to get away from. It's like, God damn, this person, leave me the hell alone. Okay, like I feel like this person gives you a headache. All right, and something about the 15th is significant. Okay, so take that as it resonates, Virgo. Now, as I get closer to this karmic justice here, you might have always felt the need to kind of protect yourself or to have a little gate up, all right? But I feel like with this person, Virgo, you feel, you feel like you can be open with them. You feel confident with them. This is something that you feel like you can really work on. We have the Three of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles and Six of Pentacles is the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo. And I feel like this person, wow. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Bottom of the deck, Chariot, Cancerian Energy. Yeah, they're seeing a lot of victory with you, Virgo, and moving forward and rather quickly. And I feel like, Virgo, for some of you guys, this is definitely a work situation or something through a friend of a friend. All right, but I'm also getting an energy where they really give to you. Like this person really invests in you, Virgo. Six of Pentacles. Okay, they have it to invest. They have the energy to give to you. They have the consistency that you want. And I feel like it was very easy, Virgo, for you to kind of let your guards down with this person and allow this victory here because you don't need to. Virgo, it's like what's understood does not need to be explained. High priestess energy. And on top of that, this person will explain it. As I pick this up, the lover's energy is here, okay? And we pulled this in your pre-shuffle. So thank you for that synchronicity, spirit. Okay, so this talks about you having this very deep connection with this person that you two really understand. Look how these two are just enraptured in each other. Okay, it's like the only thing that matters is these two. And I feel like that's what you're doing. It's almost like you're clearing the way for this person. It's like, listen, my real person is here, all right? My real person that I'm going to settle down is here. So everybody else, it was fun while it lasted. See you later. It's like you're doing the uh, the queen, the princess wave, okay? And for my divine masculine, shout out to you. It's just like, if you found that right woman, I feel like <laughs> you don't have any mercy, any mercy, Okay, so who you might have been dealing with, it's just like, nah, I got to I gotta focus on my woman, okay? King of Wands energy, where it's just like, I'm showing up fully for her, or I'm showing up fully for him at this time, okay? Because with this Wheel of Fortune here, Virg, you feel like this is faded, and you're not about to be no fool and let this kind of um, 
pass you by. So what is this? Okay, the, the high priestess wanted to come out with that chariot under the deck. Okay, so again, this really talks about what's understood does not have to be explained, Virgo. All right, and I'm also, I keep getting that because I feel like somebody might keep asking you, did you move on or, or kind of prying and trying to figure certain, thing out, certain things out. And it's like, listen, you need to be that tapped into your own shit. Okay, because I'm over here trying to enjoy my life and I actually found somebody who's emotionally available for me. Okay, unlike maybe a past person or this person, they give bugaboo. All right, where they, they um, it's like go home Roger kind of energy. All right, and with this tower card energy, Virg, I feel like this is like a, um, it's shaking things up, okay? Maybe past people, newer people, <laughs> family, friends, maybe because this is an unlikely match between you and this person, but Virg, you're about to really wield this sword because I feel like you're, you're really setting your sights on someone. So let me get one more card for you and then we're gonna get your person's energy. So what is this? Spirit, what's got you in this queen? Yeah, Virg, Ace of Swords, and you're doing it quick. All right, Virg, so you're not cutthroat, all right? I feel like I feel like you're not trying to hurt anybody, but you're going to do it quick. You're not going to let somebody suffer. It's just like you're going to make it real quick. 11-11 on the timer, whether it's a conversation or you got to block somebody, delete their number, just let them know, listen, I found my person, goodbye. Okay, you're going to hurt someone's feelings. Like, that's just what it looks like. But it's looking very much worth it because somebody else seems to be a much better match for you, Virg. I mean, it is what it is. Okay, so let's let's clarify. Let's see how the person most on your mind that you feel comfortable with is feeling about you. What is this, Spirit? The world card. I love it. So they could be at a distance. Okay, the world card is also major arcana. So I feel like just as much as... You're changing, or this person is changing your life. You're changing theirs too, Virgo. Okay, they feel very, very lucky to have you. And I feel like this person is so attracted to you, Virgo. Like, and you might feel it when this person looks at you. There's an intensity there behind their eyes. All right, also something about the 21st, possibly June 21st could be significant to you somehow. All right, but they're seeing this as a great opportunity for you two to really spend time together. Okay, so this person could be coming to seek. Bird, chariot energy, victory, cancerian. This is moving forward. Okay, period. Bird, this is something that's moving forward. And I feel like you're excited and you're ready for it to move forward, Virgo. This is something that you've been wanting. Maybe you didn't know it would come in this form so quickly. All right, give me more spirit about how this person is feeling toward my Virgo. Your person is also very ambitious. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune. So now we have the Wheel of Fortune twice. Thank you for that synchronicity spirit. So this definitely talks about, Virgo, a good tower or uh, divine timing working in your favor for both of you. Okay, and with 10 being significant here, the completion of a past cycle, because you have 10, 10, 10 here, all right? So I feel this need, Virgo, for this person to close this gap up. Like, this person doesn't want any confusion. So if you've been on the market having fun, looking at your options and ha-ha, hee-hee and all that. So we just said 10, 10, 10, 10. The synchronicities have been crazy in your readings lately, if you've been watching. But Virg, this person is like, no, no, no. We're going to go ahead and finish this up. Wrap all that up, Virg. Like if you got somebody, you know, on the side or people you were kind of playing around with, this person is like, nah, they're here for the long term. And I feel like this whole connection has the power to elevate both of you two. Okay, especially how much this person invests. Okay, and invests in you. Invest in maybe even in your business, invest in you financially, Virgo, spiritually. We've been getting a lot about your whole person lately, okay? And I feel like this person really cares about that. And as I say that, the Ace of Pentacles flies out, Virg. Okay, so this is literally like, this person has the ability to, to grant your wishes. So they could be very powerful or give you things that you've always wanted in a relationship, in a union. Maybe that's why you didn't settle down or you stayed single because you knew your worth. Okay, and this person knew it too. And that's why they're here to give you what you want. Ace of Cups. Okay, so this is it. Virg, this is a love offer that you've been wanting for a while. So we had a lot of endings here that you had to go through. And now we're getting aces, new things. Okay, I feel like this person is doing a new thing <laughs> in your life. And this is really beautiful energy. So give me this Wheel of Fortune. How is this person feeling, Spirit? Okay, because I'm definitely seeing this... Uh, 
this need for the wow yeah so Virg, whatever is, is is on the precipice of happening okay i feel like it's definitely going to shake some things up and it could be bittersweet because you might actually like one of your one of your little options all right right maybe they stroke your ego or you they've been around for a while or something like that virgo but i'm getting a bittersweet moment Okay, so let me know what that is. Take it as it resonates. But I'm also getting bird because the uh, tower represents the phallus as well. All right, so this person is very like explosive, hot and heavy for you. All right, so <laughs> be careful. All right, and it. Okay, we'll go more into that in the in the extended bird. <laughs> All right, give me more spirit. Give me more of this person's energy. You could be dealing with a scorpion, Cancerian. All right, what is this conversation though? Okay, because I feel like you two have a very important conversation with each other. Okay, three of pentacles, bottom of the deck, four of cups. Berg, I feel like this person is dead set on you. Nothing else is sufficient. All right, and I feel like a few months back, we kept getting that. Like, nothing else is sufficient for this person. All right, so you, it, this could be that same kind of person. It doesn't necessarily have to be someone new, but somebody stepped up. Okay, and with the three of pentacles here, I feel like this is something that's really going to work out, Virgo. All right, and for some of you guys, this is definitely that confirmation that this is somebody that you know through a friend of a friend group or something like that. Okay, so we're going to go into the extended, Virgo. I want to get a little bit more on, uh, <laughs> on, I don't know, some of you guys might be concerned about how this could affect whoever this five of swords person is that you're trying to get away from. But again, Virgo, I do see you so drawn to fixing so many things in your life and looking like it like you look so abundant and, and beautiful virgo and this person is seeing that they're appreciating that they're taking on this king of cups energy very mature so we're going to see what their next steps are toward you how they plan on proceeding what are their intentions what are what does it look like when this uh victory comes forward because remember chariot is pretty fast moving Okay, so if you're interested in seeing that, Berg, everything will be down below in the description to be extended. See you in a minute, Berg.